Can your teacher unmute you in Google Meet, or can they hear you when you're muted? There are short and long answers to this question. Watch the entire video to get both. Hi, my name is Dr. Ben Finio, and I have made dozens of Zoom tutorials over the last year during online learning and the COVID-19 pandemic with the help of some of my daughter's toys like Cookie Monster. I am expanding those tutorials to other platforms like Google Meet due to the number of questions I've gotten about them. One of the most common questions from students who, let's be honest, are probably playing video games or just reading the internet during online class is, can my teacher unmute me, or can they hear me when I'm muted, or can they see my screen? And I have answered that question before for Zoom, especially in response to some hoax TikTok videos about the topic. You can find those videos linked in the description below this one. Here, I want to answer the same question about Google Meet. So the short answer to this is no. The person who created the meeting, known as the meeting moderator, which is what Zoom would call the meeting host, in either case, that's gonna be your teacher, cannot unmute you or somehow listen to you when you're muted. So I have created the meeting with this computer. I invited Cookie Monster as a participant, and you see he is muted right now, and I get a little pop-up that says you can't unmute someone else if I try to click that button to unmute him. I can go up here to the participants list and try again. I get the same pop-up. You can't unmute someone else, and there's no special hidden options. Sometimes there's a rumor floating around that there are special teacher versions of these softwares that give you extra options. That's not true. There is no way for me to hear him or unmute him on my own. You can even go over to the official Google support page about this and it says right here, tip for privacy reasons, you cannot unmute another person. So that's the short answer. What is the long answer? The long answer is that if your computer was given to you by the school or you were forced to install software on your personal computer, then there is a chance that they could be monitoring you with third-party software like GoGuardian. So there are other programs out there like this. GoGuardian just seems to be a common one that a lot of people mention. This allows teachers and administrators to monitor student online activity to look out for things like threats of self-harm or cyberbullying. But that does mean they might be able to access the audio or the screen or the camera of the computer. Now, a lot of people immediately ask, wait a minute, how is that legal? I am not a lawyer, I cannot give legal advice on this. There was a lawsuit about this exact thing over 10 years ago, back in 2010, where a school took some pictures of a student on his school-issued laptop without his knowledge. And you might think that had been resolved if it was 10 years ago, but there is even more recent stuff, for example, this article from the ACLU about some privacy issues they found just last year in 2020, so 10 years after that initial lawsuit. So. People always ask in the comments, isn't that spying? Isn't this illegal? I don't know. You'll have to read about this. Maybe it depends on your school district or your state. But as far as I know, this kind of thing isn't banned at the federal level. So again, if your computer was given to you by your school and you have software like GoGuardian installed, then it's probably safer to assume that you shouldn't be playing video games during class because your teacher might be able to see what you're doing. So with that, I guess you don't usually hear people on YouTube say, I hope my videos become less relevant, but at this rate, it's looking like most of us will be back to fully teaching in person for the fall 21, 2021 semester. But I don't think Zoom or Google Meet or Microsoft Teams are going away completely. People might still be using them for occasional online classes or office hours or some remote learning events, things like that. So I do plan to continue making these tutorials. If you have a question about Zoom, Google Meet, or another platform, that is where I get many of my ideas for other tutorials, so please go ahead and leave a comment below this video. Thanks for watching.